It's remote control too. Right? I'm Lucas, and I'm John, and we're from 1270, the Red Dragons, from Cleveland, Ohio, and we're Cleveland's team. Um, because these are flippers. Okay, well. <laughs> Skunk Works, and um, we're here in Atlanta, and we're excited to be here. Yeah, uh, we use the uh, US Digital uh, encoders on our swerve drive. Uh, we've worked out really well. Our programmers have had a good time doing without no dead band. Uh, they're great, and we enjoy them. Yeah. That's awesome. 14-237, MFS Hawks. Did you guys use the encoders in your robots this year? Oh uh, yeah, we did. We have a traction control system on the robot. So we have uh, free spinning Omni wheels from the uh, F uh, from the Vex kit oh, okay. that uh, monitor how fast our robots traveling. And then we took your encoders and put them directly onto the gearboxes to measure how fast the motors were turning. And then the Serio actually calculates and says like, hey, if the Omni wheels aren't spinning, but the wheels are spinning really fast, to uh, slow the wheels down. And so it actually be, like, drives itself almost. It uh, monitors its own speed, and you know, did it with your uh, encoders on the gearboxes. Very boxes. good. So, we're glad they were successful. Yeah, they were, were great, and we're still using it. It's variable. It's, it's a really great system that we have. Good deal. Well, yeah, Team 753. Woo, Bend, Oregon. All right. Hey, we're from Lake City, Texas, and we're Team 118, the Robonauts. We use the S4. Woo! Woo! No. You didn't care. Well, exactly. you important to the future of the United States. I am disappointed that I cannot be with you in Atlanta this weekend. What you've accomplished resonates not just in America's space activities, but worldwide. This is Team 2800. We are the Rogue Robotics of Palm Bay, Florida. Woo! Woo -hoo! We did uh, use the encoders that U.S. Digital produces, and we found them to be excellent products once we figured out how to use them, but they, they did help us tremendously, especially with our control. The DC motors that we have in our kit leave a lot to be desired. These encoders helped us greatly, so thank you. We, we love the encoders, we just started using them. Uh, it's basically made our team in the past three years going from in the bottom half uh, to mid-range team to putting us in the past two years from number one seeds 
two times this year, uh, third seed in one regional, uh, semi-finalists, uh, and to winning the regional events for us. Uh, so it's, it's all the sensors, whether it's an encoder or optical, uh, sonar for location, uh, it's bringing the whole game level up to a, to a um, much more competitive field. It's allowing the driver to drive, the robot taking the initial steps to seeing the game piece. It does the uh, priority steps of grabbing hold, allowing the operator to actually take control and control the rest of the piece for the game. Uh, so really, if everyone can get the technology and the programming end of it together, if you're using these things, it's going to bring it up to a, an incredible level that the teams are going to be happy with. So um, we're looking forward to seeing some new stuff hey. and uh, getting more of it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All That's right, really thank you very much. It. Definitely. Thank you. Right size. Two, one, go. Um, seven, sixteen, up to nine. Score of one.